Hello, my name is Jose Madriz. The book that I will be reviewing is A Gentleman in Moscow by Amir Taos. So, Alexander Illich Rostov is uh, sentenced to spend his life under house arrest in Moscow's Metropole Hotel. All because of a poem that he wrote. Um, the Metropole... Metropole Hotel in Russia is a luxurious hotel, so like one of those five-star hotels. The hotel is one of the top hotels in the country. It is in the 1920s. The Bolsheviks have taken power of the new Soviet Union. In this fictional story, Alexander, also referred to as the Count by Amer, makes the most of his life despite his limitations while living within inside a hotel. The hotel is across the street from the Kremlin. The Kremlin is uh, like the White House of the Russia. That's where the president of Russia um, is. At the time of the Count's early stay in the hotel, it was a bad time in Russia. It was a bad time in Russia because of the changes that were happening to the government there. It was going from capitalist to a socialist utopia, which are two completely different um, ideals. Capitalism, um, basically the best, the best will compete and win. And a socialist, um, everyone just um, gets the same is given the same um, thing, same opportunity, and everybody is like supposed to be. Everyone is supposed to be equal, but that's not the case at, in in uh, Soviet Russia at that time. Um, that time in Russia reminds me a lot of the French Revolution, because everyone is afraid to choose a side because their lives depend on it, just like how the clergymen of France at the time had to had to choose to side whether with the revolution or the church um in the in the book a gentleman in moscow the the romantic scenes are like the sex scenes aren't aren't very detailed they're just they're just um i guess you could say just assumed simply um, so the romance in this book is between the Count and this girl named Anna. Anna was an actress who was very famous. And she starred in a lot of popular films of or movies of that time. She doesn't like him at first because she just sees him. Like she doesn't have any good impressions of him at first because he lives in a, in a hotel because he was forced there by the government. But then she does start, she does invite him over and she does seduce him. And they get to know each other. I wouldn't call it a relationship because she's not always there at the hotel, the Metropole Hotel. But when she does, she leads him to her room and drops her dress. And basically, those are the type of scenes that you see within this book. It's not very um, detailed or descriptive of how they have sex. But it is not a fling either. It's not a fling because they do this over a course of many years. I mean, the book starts in the 1920s and ends in, in so like 60 years. There's many decades within that that happened within like the story of uh rostov the count as the years go she loses a lot of uh fame possessions and opportunities because the bolsheviks saw her as celebrating individualism and at the time individualism was a very unpopular thing to that current government because it was since they were socialists, it wasn't about being yourself. It was about how you can do things for other people or being more collective. Um, so the romance in this book, the book ends with the Count escaping the hotel to a local village where in a tavern, Anna is there waiting for him. So the book doesn't say that he goes to the tavern and he like, he talks to her and then they, they, 
they end up happily ever after I just assume because they always got along so well and they had they had so many so much sex while they he was in the hotel because as she was acting and stuff she would uh she would come back from her work to him because he couldn't go anywhere he was stuck in the hotel because the Bolsheviks threatened him that they would kill him if he if he left because um, of the poem he wrote, which seemed anti-revolutionary at the time he wrote it. And, you know, one of the things that happened to Anna is that as the years went by, um, she lost a lot of her opportunities, right? But um, the thing is, she learned a lot from, um, from the Count, Alexander Ilyich Rostov, because in this, in this book, he he's a very witty and charming charming man he always finds a way to be happy no matter the situations because when he first got exiled to the hotel he was living in a luxurious room but then but then afterwards they switched him and they made him live in the attic in a small compact attic within the hotel but he always made a a a, a, sen a good sense of everything around him and basically that's a book it reminds me a lot of the French Revolution. The sex scenes aren't that descriptive, but there is a lot of romance between him and Anna because he waits for her and she comes back to see him. Thank you.